Hello everyone, my name Gamer here, and we are back with more Anamashi Warlords. And, um, <laughs> so I've just been, I've literally been sitting on this screen the whole time I've been gone, and I have been gone for quite a while, because I wanted to, uh, talk to one of my buddies about something that's been going on on the internet, apparently. <clears throat> and so I was just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, anyway, now that we've defeated that guy and we got the, um... Wind ability. Now we need to get out of here. And it is a good idea to start enhancing it up anyway. Because you will need to use a, a level 2 at some point, so it's just a good idea overall. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Because we don't want to have to fight that guy again, because I might not do as good as I did. <laughs> Last time. <laughs> anyway. Um, wait a minute, there's a partition over here. It's not cut to bits. This looks like your gauntlet. You can send some wandering spirits. Okay, cool. Now remember that treasure chest you saw in there, because you need to make your way back to it. My sister! Please save her! Don't worry. You're safe now. Please! You have to save her! I give you my word. I will save Princess Yuki. <laughs> Kaede, do you know why Princess Yuki took care of this boy? Um. Princess Yuki was born the daughter of a feudal lord and thus raised from an arranged marriage. She has had no freedom whatsoever. So when she meets someone else who's in need, she wants to help them. In this world, only the strong survive. Samanosuke. Let me tell you about the ways of the world, Yamamaru. The world? Four years ago, my uncle Mitsuhide pressured me to leave and see the world. I have met people who speak and look different than us. I have experienced things that I never would have imagined. There are infinite things that we do not understand. There is beauty and freedom all around us. You owe it to yourself and everyone to see these things and then share them with the people of this country. You must help them to understand the absurdity of fighting over such small portions of land on this tiny island. <laughs> hmm? Help! Who are you? My name is Nui. I serve Princess Hatsu. Princess Yuki is underground. Oh! <laughs> you alright? Kaede. We have little time. I have to find Princess Yuki. You watch over these two. I will. She is unconscious. Please help Princess Yuki. I handle everything here. Okay. And don't worry, there's never a, like, chance that they're going to get killed. But yeah, see? Whoa. 
would normally just like kill the shit out of those guys, you know, with like your other weapons. This thing just kind of slices and dices them enough that it does damage, but not noticeable enough. Alright, quickly equip your own bow. Oh, thanks. Sir, thank you for your help. The monsters are ruthless. Please keep this just in case. So yeah, you do get to save someone here eventually. So yeah. Still couldn't imagine going back to the regular sword. I was right. There is another sword that you can find, but um, I don't actually know how you get it. So I never actually got it through my playthrough. So I'd have to look that one up if you want to see it. Do you say that as like shapoo? <laughs> oh well. This does actually become better. Like it actually kind of matches strength of the blue so once you get to level three at least. I have gone in here before, haven't I? Yeah, I honestly can't remember, so that's why I'm coming back in here, just to be absolutely sure that I haven't forgotten anything in here. That's what I like about this game, is that you can just, like, backtrack like crazy. Yeah, this this weapon actually has a really good thrust attack, so cause it doesn't only just attack once, it attacks multiple times. Oh yeah, we can open this now. Which I think we do want to go this way, so I think I'm right. In fact, I think we want my Shiden sword here because this there's some pretty um, devastating enemies here, if I remember right. These ghosts are blocking this door and we're not allowed to be opened. Looks like the dead are screaming. Why do these tormented souls want to interfere with your mission? Yeah, unlike, um, what's that game? Um... Uh, crap. 
I'm gonna get bitched at for forgetting that since I just did a since I did a show off of it recently. I can get another medicine. Hmm, but I won't. Instead I'll level that to level two. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Well I wouldn't have had enough anyway. Um, but yeah, and this, um... <sighs> oh, fuck. I don't remember the name of the game, but... You know, in this other game, there was, like, those, like, ghosts on the wall, and, like, you had to kill a certain amount of enemies or something like that to open the door. Yeah, everybody already knows what the name of the game is, and it's called me complete and total dumbass, and I'm okay with that. Um... <laughs> All the ships, you can't read them. But yeah, um, in this game, you can just stand there as long as you want, and it won't matter. Yeah, that definitely killed him a lot faster than the other thing I had would have. Orange book. Carry out the contract with Nobunaga. We have unleashed a large amount of evil energy from Inabomna Castle for several days now, but it seems the amount was insufficient. I found out we need to tighten the seal around the surrounding district of Inabomna Castle and fill the district with the evil energy. We have to sacrifice a girl who is pure of that land and who has a pure heart. Girl's already been chosen, Princess Yuki. She is a fair complexioned person with long hair. She has beautiful internal organs, especially the heart. I can't help thinking about her organs. They're the best of the best. However, if I take advantage of her, she will be worthless as a sacrifice for the dark ceremony. If that happens, I will be eaten alive by the king. I have to give her up. Once the dark ceremony is over, every life, including those in the surrounding area, will be lost. In short, we will not have to worry about the materials from my experiment for a while. Awesome. Is it impossible to obtain the blood of a sacrifice? A dark ceremony is the holiest and darkest ritual that can be carried out between the demons and the pitiful animals. In the dark ceremony, the blood is taken from a chosen sacrifice, then the demon king bestows his evil blessing upon it. Once the animal that wants to make a contract has a boss animal drinks the blood from a grail made from a human skull, the evil powers will be given to him. Nobody has solved the mystery of why the evil power is given to the animal through the ceremony. Uh, I want to know the answer. Why does no one understand my frustration? Once the mystery of the ceremony has been solved, the knowledge will make this, the demon species evolve so much. I believe I am the only one who can solve this mystery, and yet I am forced to waste my time doing things which won't bring me the truth. I just need one drop of blood. I wish Nobunaga would leave some blood after he is drunken in the ceremony. <laughs> wow. Okay, they will inaugurate discussions. That was the only one complete sentence, that's what I meant with it. Yeah, chances are if you see um, uh, dirt coming from the ground, 
run for it because chances are you're about to get grabbed by one of these things. They don't really do a whole lot of damage, but they do stop you from being able to move. By the way, I one time went through the game just kicking everything, and yeah, it doesn't actually do much in the way of damage, which is kind of annoying. There's something on the bottom of this pool, but you can't reach it right now. Oh yeah, you have to drain the pool. Keep underground map. Mm, okay. Cool. Heavyweight hangs on a block line. It's anchored to the ground with a pulley. There's a scale tray just under the weight. If you cut the rope, the weight lands on the tray. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. You got the Rosary of Calm. Rosary of what? <laughs> this will allow you to hear the deceased. Hmm. I don't remember what you do with that. There we go. Definitely does more damage. <laughs> oh yes, this room. You got the purifier bell. Definitely a little bit easier than the orphan ones, that's for sure. There's always one jackass there, it seems. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's max. Okay, so yeah, level three means you can't level it up anymore. <sighs> you know, that might suck to you, but honestly, I think it is kind of fair. 
But what I don't like is that you can max it out real fast on just like the beginning of the game. Like once you get these air, like you know these three weapons, you can max them out just by going back to the beginning area and just fighting all over and over and over and over again. And eventually you will max out all of these weapons. And then as you go through the game, you have like a f ton of souls and nothing to do with them. <laughs> Just a fun little bit of information for you. <laughs> That's what I actually did one time to try to make the game easier. It doesn't make it too much easier. I'll let you know. <laughs> Just to, you know, let you in on a little secret. <laughs> it doesn't help much at all. <laughs> I mean, it does, but it doesn't type thing, you know. So anyway, this is where you use the purification bell. Ring this bell in order to purify the cursed. Careful when you go through here. Damn it. trying to get by him. Yeah, let's go in here real quick. It's time so I can get this help. Dead. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, they feign death pretty well. So yeah, you see that I was right, that you want to get this to level 2. So, it's kind of a good thing that I did. Of course, I'm not sure if we actually want to go through there yet, but I at least want to open the door for later. Now that's actually a good grinding spot right here to get health and stuff. Is to just keep going in and out of that door. I've actually done that before. The White Book. I have ca categorized the demons as followed. Low class demon. Their intelligence is very basic and immature. They do not use language. They wander about for a victim under the cover of night and sometimes eat pitiful animals. They abide by the rules of the Dark Realm and obey orders from the higher demons. They serve the higher class for life. They are very loyal, but their behavior is very similar to insects. Middle class demon. Larger than the low class demons, they have enough intelligence to speak a sort of babbling language. Based on my research, their behavior is wild and ferocious, very similar to the basic instincts of the animals. High class demon. Like Fortinbras and I, this type of demon is extremely intelligent and responsible for building the high level civilization. Based on my calculation, the birth rate of the high class demon is only 1 in 100,000. That means we are the true chosen ones. We are supposed to conduct the research on the high class demons through surgical dissection. Um, dissection, I mean. But it is almost impossible to obtain a sample as they are very rare. Someday I'll find out with my own hand. <laughs> okay. But yeah, let me try this. I'm going to see if I'm correct about this. I don't know. I could have sworn that you could do that, but I guess not.
after all that health, it's all gone now. through the green door. Not one of you bastards. Damn it. That insane little man, he reminds me of a monkey. He kept talking about the evil entrance. What was it? Was it a door? Or maybe it was a gate? Oh yeah, that's what the um, item does that I picked up. Let's you talk to these like characters here. You got the apocalypse number one. A dark ceremony is a traditional holy, holy ritual in the dark realm. Through this ceremony, demons make a contract with the human. Obtaining sacrifices by making a contract is indispensable for the dark realm. To carry out the dark ceremony, a woman who is born of that land and noble in heart must be preferred, pro, pro offered, I guess, as a sacrifice. Our king sanctifies her blood with an evil blessing, then using her skull as a grail, a person drinks the blood and the contract is complete. Clan of dimensions that lies between times. Wow, okay. Ah, treasure chest here. Ah, okay, here's our first uh, four one. Um, of course, I'm going to figure this out in the next episode. Till then, everyone, bye.